Hello everyone, this is Diane. Thank you for coming back to my Pretty Pink Cottage channel today. Today I am um, going to play with some tags and it is part of a challenge, I, or a, I don't know if it's called a challenge, but it's um, hashtag tag your next. And I was tagged by Danielle from 11 Dancing Dandelions and um, I believe that it was Carrie from the Paper Monkey who started this hashtag. And a lot of people have participated. Um, I just searched hashtag tag your next and it's Y-O-U-R. Um, that's has how it's spelled in the hashtag. <clears throat> and uh, I saw quite a few videos, so I'll have to go back and watch them. So I just wanted to show you and I will link Carrie and I will link Danielle. And before I go any further, I want to say who I will tag before I forget, because if I wait till the end of the video, I'll forget. So I want to tag Meg from um, Chasing Retro. And I know she's busy because she just started working um, part time and she's still homeschooling her last student, her last child. Um, so hopefully she'll be able to participate. So. I just wanted to point out that these are the journals that I am going to be making these tags for. I have three of them, and I did show <clears throat> these um, covers in a previous video, but I have Hoppy the Grasshopper, or Hoppy the Hopper, Romney Gay, Mother Goose, and Moppet. So I have some tags prepped. And I also would like your help because, as you know, I started using my phone to film videos as I never did before. And I'm getting different kinds of feedback, some good, some bad. And one person, only one person, has told me that ever since I started using my phone, um, they can't hear. She has a hard time hearing. Um, but I can hear it fine. I've tried. I've watched my videos back with my TV, my laptop, and my phone, and I can hear it just fine. So please let me know if you are having trouble hearing. I wouldn't know how to fix it. I just want to know if other people are having that problem. Now, let's not talk about that anymore. Let's just get to the tags. So I did an introductory video, and I did, I used a lot of different kinds of bases, well, a few different kinds, shipping tags, pattern paper, um, card stock, both colored and uh, the white and cream card stocks, and I made tags. I haven't um, angled all the corners yet. And then in that video, I talked about all of the different, well, some, not all, of the different things that you can use to cover your tags. So there's wallpaper, book page, sewing pattern instructions, ledger, embossed. This was actually a gift bag that was embossed like that. Um, unwritten on ledger. Sewing pattern tissue. There's a dictionary page. That's part of the book page. Uh, maps. And um, th these are the patterned cardstock, so I didn't cover them. Piano roll paper. And instead of covering them, some of them I just used a background stamp and created a background that way. So those are all stamped. This is mulberry paper and wrapping paper and music paper. So, and I'm sure there are lots of other things that you can do to cover your stamps or your tags. So I've already done that and I've taken um, nine of the wallpaper covered tags because that's what I chose to use for this journal project. So this tag with the pink striped wallpaper, this will be in the Romney Gay's Mother Goose book. And I've already collaged on it and I inked around everything and it's got just a bingo paper. And I'm using, this is scrapbook paper. This is from a, anti, or a vintage children's book. And I included the text, The Squirrel Laughed. This is cut from an old, old, old scrapbook paper. I've had that piece in my stash for a long time, and this part is digital. So whatever you have on hand, get those things out and use them to embellish your piece. So I'm going to 
do a couple more tags for that particular journal. This one has the green patterned wallpaper. And I will cut this into the tag shape. I love making tags. I love decorating tags. I love putting tags in my journals. I don't know what it is about them. And I have inked all the other pieces so far for this journal, so I'm going to ink the tag. Actually, this is not for, for that journal. This is for a different journal. I think this one is for um, Moppet, the one with the dolls and the mouse. But this one I'm doing, no, this one is also for Moppet. We're making this one for Moppet because the little girls on here are playing with dolls and that book features a pair of dolls in a dollhouse and a mouse that wants to come investigate the dollhouse when it gets put into the attic because the little girl doesn't play with it anymore. And the dolls, it's a man and a wife doll. They were getting lonely sitting there in the attic with nobody playing with them. And then a mouse wants to come and visit. I didn't read the whole story. I'll have to do that. centering ruler to mark my first hole and now I'm just using that to um, show me where I'm going to put the next the hole in the next tag I think I want just a brown reinforcement here I think I could have just used a white one. I don't have to color all of them, do we? Let's see if we like the white. Yeah, I think we'll go with white. I don't know if I need to glue that, but for now I'm just gonna stick it on. This part is a digital from KB and Friends. I got a bunch of retro storybook sort of digitals from KB and Friends on Etsy. So I will, I'll just link her shop because there are so many different retro sets that you can choose. And I printed them on cardstock. Now these are gonna be glued down, but I printed everything on cardstock, um, mostly everything because I might want to just, you know, tuck them in a pocket or something like that. So these little girls are also from KB and Friends and they each are holding a baby doll. So I thought that these would go very well with the Moppet. I'm not trying to, um, make it a themed journal, but as I typically do, if I'm not following a theme, I will often have a nod to the journal cover. So this journal cover is a story about a mouse and some dolls. So we have some dolls on the ephemera. Okay, now I'm going to glue this piece down.
I want to thank Danielle for tagging me in this. Since I do love to make tags, this was a perfect tag for me. A tag about tags. And this is just a paper, it's not a card. Um, colorful bingo paper that I'm going to kind of wrap around the tag. I could have cut it off, but I decided to wrap it around. It um, decreases the journaling space on the back, but it makes it cute. too high. And this is just also a digital from a set of numbers or something. I thought I had something else for this page for this tag, but I don't know what it was. Let me see if I can find something up here. I have a domino. That's also a digital. Except for the bingo paper, all of the elements I'm adding right now are digitals. But on the other tags, I, as you will see if you stick with me, I've also used vintage book papers and at least one image from an old magazine. So, like I said, use whatever you have. It does not have to be from a vintage book. And if you can't find book images that you want and you have a printer, you can go to Etsy and look for the type of images that you want. If you like these retro storybook and children images or readers images, that, that sort of thing, KB and Friends is a good one to look for. And then there's there are also other ones that have retro, retro children and animals. So that's pretty cute. And I think I will just put, um, see my being in all of them. So I'll get my seam binding out here. I think I will, instead of trying to match a green, I've got two greens here, but I could pull from the pink and I have a whole spool of pink. And the Moppet cover is a bright pink. I don't have a bright pink seam binding, but it's okay. So there is a finished tag. I'll add seam binding to this one also, but not right now. Next in my pile, I have this tag. This one does go in the Romney Gay Mother Goose, and it has a floral wallpaper. And I used a French, it's either French or Italian dictionary page. And this is just a a label that came out of this sticker book that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance. 
$1.24 for all those little label stickers. And then this came out of an old magazine. And I will put some of that pink seam binding in this tag also. These are good size tags. They are about um, three and a half by seven inches because these books are, you know, they're not huge, but they're not real little either. So I think that's a good size for these books. So another tag for the Romney Gay Mother Goose is this one that I have already. Um, this is from a collector's guide book to this, whatever this um, porcelain company was the maker of these. I cut out a lot of really cute images from that book. And this is from a vintage children's math book. I left on this edge where you could see where it was stitched into the cover. And this is cut from vintage wrapping paper. I really love the soft colors. And this is just a ticket. I put a pork roast in the oven before I started this video and I am smelling it now and it smells good. This was the first tag I made, so I'm just going to keep using this center mark in case it gets a little off with each one. I should just use the same one for all of them, right? have all of the main images selected for each tag so that should save us some time so maybe we'll get all nine of them done I did a lot of the inking already on some of the pieces too, but I didn't do all of it. This is part of the process if you wanted to have a vintage look. This isn't like super vintage, but it's retro. And I like to have the edges on this particular project. I want them to be inked. Right, so we can glue this down. I know that's going to go on the bottom. And then I arranged the pieces. So I can see which thing needs to get glued down next. And I guess it would be the ticket. And then the rose from the wrapping paper. I love this kind of wrapping paper that is not glossy at all, and it's just like a thin matte paper, not too thin. It's just perfect. It's like my favorite kind of wrapping paper to find, vintage. I 
cut some animals like this out of this little collector's book and some real cute little dolls and angels out of this book and some other things that were really fun to cut out and hopefully I'll get to use them in my journals. some pink ones here somewhere. These really need to be glued. Some of these are vintage reinforcements and they've lost most of their stickiness. really cute and I might end up sewing around these tags to add a, just a little more texture around the edges I think that would look nice if I do that I'll take the seam binding off so I just won't add the seam binding <clears throat> till after I sew if that's what I'm going to do I have one more for Romney Gay I'm using I'm doing three tags in this video of this of this type for each journal. be time to open my new distress ink. I bought it a while ago, but I haven't opened it yet. It seems that is a lot lighter. This is distress oxide. Is it supposed to be lighter? I think that's the first time I bought vintage photo in Distress Oxide because you can't find the regular Distress ink in the craft stores. I'd have to order it from Amazon if I even still can. I don't know. I haven't ordered it for a long time. This just doesn't seem as dark, but that's okay because, you know, vintage things aren't always as dark around the edges as we make them. better on the white side. It shows up better, of course. This is a digital. It looks like a, a little price tag. This is not one of the KB and Friends son, um, sets that I got. This one also, and this came um, out of the book, the Romney Gay book. Today's Saturday, and I didn't make much progress at all on the journals this week. I cut some of the pages, and that's about it. M maybe I... I don't even remember. I think I like started, I did that one cover to clean it up, the happy one. I decorated that cover and gessoed it and stuff. Took the books apart and that's all I got done this week. I didn't even cut all the pages, just the scrapbook paper pages. But, I did list some fabrics. I still have fabrics in the shop. And I want to list more fabrics, or not fabrics, miss, I have more items to list. 
I want to be very steady in listing fabrics at least at least once a week. I want to list something. So I keep moving things out out of my house and into yours where they will actually get used. And once I'm done listing all of the things from flea markets over the summer and fall and spring, then I will be listing things as um, from D-Stash. And my daughter gave me a great big box of wooden oh, Stampin' Up! stamps that she doesn't want and asked me to list them for her. So I have those to list also. So that's why I need to keep on a, a steady schedule of listing. That's cute. That has fewer elements, but they're a little bit bigger, and I like I like it just the way it is. I'll add reinforcements later. We can save time. Trying to see what the time is here. 26 minutes. Okay, this one is for Hoppy. I didn't have any grasshopper images, but I used some animal images and outdoor things. So this is a vintage book and a digital label a vintage children's book illustration. And this is cut from a piece of scrap paper, just a number. And it's on a pale green cardstock. And that one's all done. And I liked, I didn't leave much of this green wallpaper showing, but you can still see it. I really like that. It's a nice bright green. This is a nice bright green also, and it kind of looks like grass, grass cloth. So I thought that was good for a grasshopper book. And I have a lot of elements here and I've inked most of them. I think I've inked all of them. So I'm going to take a look at it. So I try to remember how to arrange it. This is again from a vintage children's math book. This is Jeremy Fisher from um, Beatrix Potter Collection. That's from scrapbook paper. That's just a die cut from some collection that I had. I stamped this. I stamped the label and the number. And this is a digital postage stamp. So I use all kinds of elements on this one. So this guy has to go next. And then this. This was a die cut. I just cut this out 
while I was prepping for this video. So there's that one. And I could use, if I have brown, I think a brown seam binding would be nice. I do have brown. This is a vintage one. probably wet and crinkle this to get the fold out but for now I'm just gonna wide it up that helps I'm gonna stick it in even though I need to take it out so I can sew around it just so I can see how it looks with the brown I really like the brown. Okay, this one is also, we only have two more tags to do. This one is also from for the Grasshopper book. And this one is not wallpaper, it is a fibrous paper, like kind of a mulberry paper, but it has a lot more fi of different types of fibers in it. I've already inked around the tag. I'm going to ink around this. This is from the math book got glue on my new ink pad and so this is about Jack's picnic and how many oranges he has and how many people are coming and stuff like that and since I'm using outdoor looking elements for this book I thought I mean even if you don't read it. I know that it's about a picnic. And there's a picnic basket featured on this tag, so that's why I chose this particular page that I had out. See, there's the frogs jumping into the picnic basket. And this, I used a punch or a die one or the other, and cut it out of a book page and it's branches and a robin. So that's, and I'll just, uh, digital label. So it's a pretty simple tag. this down and I didn't.
That's cute. See, you can't even see the word picnic on there now. It does say Jack and oranges. I don't know if I can use this because this tag is a different size. Yep, I think I can. I could use a dark green or a red seam binding to go with the color elements in this tag because all the other greens are on the light side so a dark green would be okay. That's cute. One more tag to go, and I've got nine tags here, I think. And this one is, I think this is the last one for the dollhouse Moppet for that book. I've already inked the tag and the background paper and the ticket. I think I inked everything. Yep. And this is that same dictionary page. This is a digital, it's one of the KB and Friends, and so is this. Oh, there's a set of tickets, and you get the tickets in two sizes. And this just came from a set of numbers, digital numbers, and this is digital embroidery pieces. So the dictionary page is vintage and everything else on top of the wallpaper is digital on this tag. I got to make cinnamon rolls with Layla yesterday, and it took us five hours. Some of that time, the dough was raising. It has to raise twice, once when, when it's just dough, and once again after it's formed into the cinnamon rolls, and you let the rolls raise. So we were watching um, Ms. Marvel on Disney+. Plus. The series and I had started watching it because I'm gonna go with with her and her dad to watch the new movie that's just out the Marvels but he said I needed to watch Ms. Marvel on Disney Plus first so Layla and I finished it up she had already seen it but she loves it so that's what we did while the bread was raising this one is a different size too I'm just centering it. Keep wanting to put the wrong one up there. Then we'll take a look at all of the tags we've made. Where am I? 40 minutes. These are not vintage reinforcements, so maybe they'll stick. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to sort them by book, and then we'll take a look at them. Of course, I will add the seam binding. Okay, I have three for each. So this one is for the Romney Gay Mother Goose book. And this set is for the Grasshopper. No, this one is for the Dollhouse book. Muppet. And this set is for Hoppy the Hopper. I love this one. Aren't they fun? I love using children's book images. This set has all children's book images as the main focus. This set has digital, digital, and a book image. And this set has a collector's book image and a digital and a magazine. So wherever you find your images, the Im images that you like, just use what you have, like I said. So that is it for my hashtag your turn. Thank you again, Danielle. And I will be tagging um, Chasing Retro. I guess I'm tired. I just said her name at the beginning of this video. Meg. Sorry, Meg. Chasing Retro. Uh, if you have time, and if you don't have time, I'll I'll tag someone else. I have someone else in mind I could tag if you don't want to do it. So I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that you felt inspired to go make a bunch of tag bases. And I'll just keep these handy for when I make another journal, and I'll select some and decorate it to go with whatever journal I'm making. So that was a twofer for you, two different videos. And I had fun doing it, and I hope you had fun watching. So I'll be seeing you in another video real soon, I hope, and have a creative day today. Bye-bye.